and our mom was driving a car when someone cuts us off. <laughs> That's where I have the problem. <laughs> so it's always, it's always a challenge. It's day by day. Um, I just, it's so God that God is, it's so great that God is good. You know, He is so good. And you just see that as you walk through your life. If you see where have you been, where you're going, you don't want to know where you're going, but you can see where you've been and how He's been there. His grace has been sufficient. It's been enough to get you there. So, anybody have any comments or anything? No? Oh, I thought you had your Bible open, you're looking at it. No, I always better have my Bible. Yeah. <laughs> well. There's an acronym I've always liked for the word grace, and I'm sure people have heard it. God's riches at Christ's expense. Mm -hmm. right. And that's what makes so much sense is giving gifts of patience and forgiveness and mercy and grace mm -hmm. when you may not have the means to do it yourself. And right. that's where a Christ's expense comes in. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just that kicks in so much. Oh yeah, because I can't do this, Lord. I can't do this, you know. And we went down to Tennessee to see my daughter and her husband, and I go, oh, I can't do this. And I says, just go. And you know what? She's right. And you had the biscuits and the grits. And yeah, yeah. I thought of you, Jerry. <laughs> so you know, it, it's it's always it's it's. It's more joyful when you when you work in grace, and it's just something that we all have to look to attain in our lives, to move forward in our lives, to be more loving. You know, uh, sometimes you know we can treat people we don't know better than we do our own, Amen. Amen. and that's something we we uh, need to work on. It's, so. it's funny you mention that because I remember working uh, with a group in the school system, and uh, there was a, a brother Christian. And uh, we got into an argument. And uh, I mean, we were nose to nose. And, and he wasn't going to relent, and neither was I. And uh, for some reason, we did separate. But the next day, I mean, it, it was so heavy on my heart mm -hmm. that the next day, I had to approach him. And I could see the hair on the back of his neck start to stand up again. And I said, no, no, I want to apologize. I, I think the reason why I lost my temper with you is because I was expecting more of you because you're a Christian and I have no right to do that. And he started to cry. <laughs> and, you know, it just, how easy we can let it go. Right. But the primary focus that try, I try to keep with me all the time is that we are constantly and always in the presence of God. Right, right. And he sees it all. Yeah, yeah. It's all about reconciliation. Yeah. The whole Bible is about that. And grace. You, know, you think of the others, or, you know, the, the Mary Magdalene, you know, uh, you know the, the prostitute. Uh, grace shown by the Lord there. Grace shown by healing people. You know, people just not deserving it, not needing it, and just forgiving them. It's just a hard concept for people to understand. Christianity is the only one that's like that. True. You know? You know, I was reading Robbie Zechariah, you know, a little bit, doing this, and wow, that's intense. You know, you read him, and uh, how he just, he knows all the different religions of the world, and how they, they contradict each other, and he says only Christianity is the one that doesn't contradict. And, it's all about relationships. So. All right. Would you mind closing us in prayer, John? Father well, God, we once again thank you for opening the doors to your house and allowing us in. We come, Lord, not because we must, but because we want to be here. We want to become closer to you. We ask, Lord, that uh, as we come through the doors, that you bless us with your grace and your mercy. And that we show it and turn to each other and to even the ones outside the doors that we do not know. We ask, Lord, that we let uh, you help us to let uh, brotherly love continue. 
Yeah, we know that you have told us in your word that uh, some of us unwittingly have entertained angels. Mm. So, Lord, let us be reminded that you are with us. Amen. Uh-huh.